Hey folks, welcome back to Everyday South Texan. Here we are with our next week update. It's a Saturday morning and it's a little overcast. Grass is coming in, still looking kind of bare. And uh, St. Augustine is doing fine over there. But my Bermuda is still struggling a little bit. So last week, after the video, I went ahead and thinned out some of the canopy for my oak here. So we should be getting more sunlight. And the days haven't been as hot as they uh, normally are. They've only been about 85 degrees. Uh, it's been pretty overcast. No rain. I uh, still watered it uh, once a week. And uh, or once during the week, so uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, and I'm gonna show you. All right, guys. So today I'm gonna use some of this uh, Covington Naturals Liquid Lawn Aerator. Uh, last uh, this week when I was watering, I noticed uh, the ground was real hydrophobic. It's taking a while for the water to penetrate, and it's uh, I have not core aerated. And I do plan on doing that later on this summer when things are growing really well. And but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some liquid lawn aerator. So this is the first time I'm gonna use this particular brand. I bought it uh, at the end of last season. And let's read the back. So it's got some. It's got some uh, general analysis: some magnesium, sulfur, iron amino acids, microorganisms, humic kelp, so it's got some stuff there. But what I'm going to do is extremely compacted high uh, content clay soil, 8 ounces per thousand square feet every 45 to 60 days. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do <clears throat> 8 ounces of this into this guy I bought this guy a couple years ago and it worked pretty good but the bottle works great as a hose end sprayer when uh, when you're mixing stuff and this particular bottle does 10 ounces per thousand square feet so I'm just gonna put my eight ounces of liquid lawn aerator into this bottle and once this bottle runs out then I've got my eight ounces down per my thousand square feet and I'm only gonna do the Bermuda I'm not gonna do the St. Augustine so you know because that's that's growing fine and, and my main concern is getting my St. Augustine back up to a healthy condition and but first <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and cut it so we're gonna cut any of the stragglers and cut any of the the uh, growing weeds and you can come over here and see <clears throat> I've got some Got some sticks and some weeds and stuff popping up. This thing. Let's see if you see that. That's some poa right there. I've got it all. I'm not even going to worry about spot treating it. <clears throat> I don't care about that. I want to get the grass growing good. And this is the common Bermuda this direction here. And the hybrid this direction here. So we're going to. We're gonna give it a cut. We're gonna rake it, cut it. I may hit. I may go ahead and stitch it with the uh, the cultivator again, just to break it up, give it a little extra fighting chance. Break up definitely this harder spot over here. As you can see, it's a high traffic area. But stitch this with the cultivator, break this area up, and then spray that liquid lawn aerator on here to help that water penetrate down. I may give it a a half feed of uh, some fertilizer. It's been two weeks since I've fertilized at a full rate. I think I might give just the Bermuda. So I won't do the Augustine over here, but I'll give the Bermuda a half feed rate of fertilizer. So I won't do the full, full weight. So it'll be half a pound per thousand. So stick around and check it out.
All right, guys, there's the Augustine fresh haircut. Yeah, I am cutting it kind of low, but I want that Bermuda to take it over and uh, infiltrate it, so that's why I'm cutting it as low as I am. So now, time to cut uh, what I can off of this uh, Bermuda, so stick around. Cut the Bermuda and I'm cutting it not as, as short as my mower will go but the half notch right in between so that's the last notch and I'm right here in the half so we got to cut I, st I know I've got a lot of ground work I need to do but this isn't a uh, not trying to get a golf course just trying to bring it back so that's how it looks so now, I'm going to go ahead and stitch the whole ground with the cultivator. Probably just halfway, because that's really the hardest part. From here, right about here, draw a line from that pipe here, come down, and I'll break all this up. Then I'll add the liquid aerator. So stick around. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and stitch up the ground, get it uh, broke up with the cultivator so check it out All right guys, so there it is. Went ahead and broke up the top crust of the ground. And I am going to put down a half rate of uh, that straight ratio fertilizer. And then top it with that, or water it in with that liquid uh, aerator. And then water the yard. So yeah, stick around. All right guys, here's that half rate. Uh, fertilizer, check it out.
All right, guys, so I've got my liquid aerator. I've stitched the ground with the cultivator, put down half rate of uh, fertilizer, and now I'm going to put down the liquid aerator for this super compacted area. And like I showed you all earlier, it's uh, this is just the bottle I'm using because it puts down 10 ounces per thousand. And I'm using 8 ounces for roughly an 800 square foot area. So it's going to be a little bit more, but it's going to be all right. I've covered the whole yard and you can see how much is left so you can see that <clears throat> it takes a little bit to put down eight ounces you know just because it's wet doesn't mean it's, it's all down just try to go around even evenly spread it All right, guys, so I put down the liquid aerator, and now we're going to water it all in. I got the sprinkler going. So here it is. Here we go. Get a little bit of water action. We're going to give it a good soaking today and uh, see how it works out. <clears throat> so thanks for sticking around. Just to, re to recap... We cut it, stitched it up with the cultivator, put down half rate of fertilizer down, and then we put down the liquid aerator to help with the uptake of water to help penetrate the hard soil. And all that is is just it doesn't really aerate it, but it helps the water, the ground uh, not have so much, uh, uh, not be so hydrophobic. Uh, breaks the surface tension so that the water can be absorbed by the dirt. So uh, that's the purpose of that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for sticking around and uh, see you next time. Later.